Now, interest is one of the things that most people that are into investing really want to know or it really excites them because a lot of people, ladies and gents, when they are putting their money or investing their money, they really want to know the kind of interest that they would get on that investment, which is one of the things that, ladies and gents, we get or we tend to hear a lot of people, not just young people, but even elderly people or those, uh, our grandmas, grandpas, this is something that it has always been there. Those uh, people or the kind of people that like investing, we've seen them oftentimes very happy maybe by the interest that they are getting on a certain investment which most people ladies and gents when they talk about their investments i tend to realize that when you ask them about the interest they are getting on a certain investments they never cater for inflation and ladies and gents this is not good because then it means that their real interest or their actual interest it is much less or it becomes way less than what they think they are getting. I mean, there are so many people that I've seen very happy about getting 3% interest on their investment annually. There are people who I've seen being really excited getting 4%, 5%, 6% on their investments annually and they tend to actually miss that real interest is equals to nominal interest minus inflation so inflation or yearly inflation or annual inflation is one of the things that you need to take consideration when you want to actually see the real interest or the actual real interest you are getting on your investment it is very important that whatever you invest your money in you always make sure that when they tell you uh, the kind of interest you'll be getting on that investment you always subtract or minus inflation or the yearly inflation because like say for instance right now in south africa inflation is currently sitting at 7.6 percent which means that real interest must be or should be uh, your nominal interest that is the interest that uh, whoever or wherever you are investing they promise you that interest let's say for instance you are investing your money in a bank maybe that bank promised you an interest or annual interest of six percent then it means that your real interest or your actual real interest it is equals to six minus the of course current in yearly inflation that which in this case or here in south africa it's currently at 7.6 percent which is something that makes you to see or just has to make you to see that you are not making anything actually you are losing your money or whatever money you are putting on that investment it is losing value by negative or minus 1.6 percent so it is very important or this just shows you that it is very important that obviously you make sure that whenever you are getting or whenever you go and invest into something and you get to see the returns you always minus inflation but before of course we go any further with this video you already know that this video is just an entertainment video and not a professional financial advice video now i really appreciate if you can just hit that likes button if you are enjoying the content that i'm giving you about real interest now of course those of you that are also enjoying this video don't forget to hit that likes button as it helps with youtube's algorithm so real interest it is very important whether you are investing in the stock market whether you are investing or saving your money in the bank it is very important that you find out the interest that you are getting from your investments and once you find out that interest it is also important that you know the current annual inflation in your country and then uh, take that interest that the institutions or the, that that company is giving you or the, the interest that you have on your in your stock market portfolio and subtract the obviously uh, inflation which there is intense that is the real interest and if you find that you are getting a positive figure after you have subtracted of course inflation on your nominal interest or on the interest that you are getting from the stock market from your investments then that is a very good investment and you should definitely continue 
to load or to pile so that you get more and more interest but on the other side of the coin if you are getting a negative or a minus ladies and gents then you should either look at other possible ways that obviously can make you to find better options or better maybe investments that can give you good of course returns in terms of interest but in the stock market you all know that if you are investing into good companies then in the long term ladies and gents you will find yourself or you will definitely find yourself with good real interest on your investment i mean if you have to look at a index fund which is a basket that tracks the top 500 companies in the u.s called the s p 500 it has an average return of around 10 percent um, so regardless of how low the stock market may drop or whatnot but just know that in a nutshell on in an average let's say five years ten years you will notice that it has an average of 10 percent which means that whatever that you are putting or whatever the amount of money you invest in the s p 500 you are going to get a real interest of a positive number because uh, i mean our inflation even if you have to, if you are to minus using maybe our inflation of 7.6 percent you uh, you still remain with 2.4 percent meaning that your real interest still continues to beat inflation so what you need to strive for as an investor or retail investor or as a consumer you need to strive to get investments that uh, beat inflation in terms of interest rates so if your interest rate in south africa currently uh, on your investment is below 7.6 percent then unfortunately uh, my brother my sister you are making a loss and this uh, is not a problem if obviously it's a short-term thing like say for instance we know that economies around the world are not doing well not just in south africa but also other most countries in the world are not doing well economically meaning that things obviously are not going well meaning that even on the interest ladies and gents you chances are very high that it is not many investments that will give you good interest due to the current economic condition so if you don't get to see your investments beating inflation in the next coming three to five years then it is a problem it is, becomes a problem because if you're not getting interest that beat inflation on your uh, investment that ladies and gents unfortunately you are burning your money or your money is losing value which is something that obviously as a consumer investor you don't want that all you want is to grow your money so always make sure ladies and gents that whenever you are investing or you are putting your money into something you check the kind of returns you get from that particular investment and then subtract inflation or the current inflation which like i said in this case in south africa right now inflation it's currently at 7.6 percent so if anything or if any of the investments you are doing are giving you more than 7.6 percent then these are good investments because they are still beating inflation but if uh, the investments that you've been having for the past four to five years are not giving you anything more than seven seven point six percent then unfortunately i personally believe that those are not good investments because like i said yes i know that the economies around the world are not doing well which means that obviously even the investments or our most investments are not doing well you should be able to maybe track for the next three to five years and see if or how well your investments are doing because obviously you can't just judge the investments based on the current economic conditions because like i said not many things are going or many economies around the world have not recovered from the pandemic which is something that obviously is affecting uh, the investment so give it three to five years and see how it goes but if you're still not beating inflation with the investments you are doing with the investments you are, are having then ladies and gents you need to cut them off and make sure that obviously you go and look for other investment opportunities where you can invest and beat inflation because inflation ladies and gents is one of the things that makes a money uh, to lose value because inflation ladies and gents most of you already know that 
it is obviously when things or the products that we use on a day-to-day -day rise in terms of prices. I mean, just yesterday I was reading an article um, from a newspaper which indicated or showed that uh, sunflower transport uh, things, most of the things that we use on a day-to-day -day are up uh, over 30% um, year over year. So when you look at October or between October of 2021 and October of 2022, most of the products we use as seen on the screen have went up by over 30%, which is something that is resulting in the inflation or the overall inflation uh, to be in South Africa to be around 7.6%, which is why it is important that you make sure that you beat the inflation or the current inflation of 7.6% so that you can obviously also uh, continuing uh, growing your money regardless of maybe the current economic conditions. Otherwise, with all that, guys, I just thought I should just give you my views on uh, what real interest is and what you need to strive for as an investor or a consumer when you are choosing or when you are investing in uh, the various investments uh, that maybe you may choose which are out there. Otherwise, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that like button, comment, and subscribe. And once you subscribe, don't forget to hit or click that notification bell so that at least you get notified by YouTube every time I drop a new content. Otherwise, that's all from me. And I wish you nothing but the best in your, in your stock market and investing journey and other investments. And God bless you all.